Hello friends, we are going to write a Python program to check a number is odd, even or zero. I am obtaining an input from the user n equal to integer of input of enter a number closing the input statement closing the integer input display the string enter a number in the console when user enter a number input statement receives it as a string in function convert it as an integer and store it in the variable n now we are going to check a number is odd, even, or zero by using if, elif, else statement. I am checking if n double equal to zero colon double equal to is the comparison operator. It checks the value of n is equal to zero. If this is true. I am going to print print n the value of the variable n will get printed and for the string is 0. Here I am giving indentation because the indentation stands for the scope of the statement that means the print statement which is in the scope of the if statement if this condition is true if n equal to 0 the print statement will get executed print n or by a string is 0 is the output i'm checking l if n modulo to double equal to zero colon print n for the string is an even number. So, if 5 by condition, if n modulo 2, modulo operator returns the remainder. If we divide n by 2, the remainder is 0. I am printing n, the value of variable n is an even number. I am writing else here. Else colon, I am printing print. n is is an odd number so this is a program First, I am checking. First, I am getting an input from the user and storing it in the variable n. It is an integer. I am checking if n equal to 0. Double equal to is a comparator. Double equal to is a comparison operator. If the value of n equal to 0, I am printing n is 0. If this condition is true, the statement under the block will get executed. The control will come out of the entire if else if, if statement that means the statement next to the else control will come here if this condition is false then only else if n modulo 2 equal to 0 is checked 
if this condition is false then only l if n modulo 2 w equal to 0 is checked that means the remainder of n when divided by 2 is 0 if this condition is true then the print statement will get executed n is an even number is my output after this control will come out of this of the entire if l if else if if also false then only control will come to the l if this is also false then only the control will come to the else and execute the print statement in the else block print n is an odd number why n is odd number n is not 0 and n is not an even number that means when we divide n by 2 the remainder is not 0 that is n is not an even number n is not a 0 that means n is a odd number so this is the program so in this if l if else structure if if condition is true only the if block will get executed control will come out of the entire structure if if else false then it will check l if, if this condition is true then l if block only executed the control will come out if if l if also false the else will get executed at the time only one block will get executed that is advantage of the if l if else statement now we will take some sample input and check the possible outputs input output for n i am entering the value 0 0 is assigned to n we'll come here and check n equal to 0 it will check 0 equal to 0 the condition is true then the print statement will get executed i am getting a result the output is 0 is 0 so this is one scenario then after this the control will come out i am executing a program again now i am giving n equal to 4 first we'll check 4 equal to 0 that means 4 w equal to 0 4 w equal to 0 this is false then we'll check 4 modulo t equal to 0 4 modulo 2 equal to 0 4 modulo 2 the value is 0 0 equal to 0 in this place so it will print 4 n value is 4 is n even number then control will come out of this entire structure now i am executing a program again i am giving n equal to 5 first check the condition 5 equal to 0 5 equal to 0 this is false then we we'll come to the elif and check phi modulo 2 equal to 0 this is also false because when you divide phi by 2 the remainder is 1 modulo operator always written the remainder 1 equal to 0 is false then we we'll come to the else and print the value of n is 5 is n or number odd number so this is my output that's it thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel share comment and press the bell button thank you